Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dining with Nate Diva show. I'm your host, Nate Diva. Hostess with the mostest. And I'm Tracy. Hi, all. I'm Tasha. And we are TNT. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, please make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and share, 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 share all over the world because we want to be world renowned. Right. Speaking it into existence. That's what you got to do. Words have power. Yes. Yes, they so, do. Yes, they do. Well, today's topic of power. Hour. <laughs> of, the, of the power hour. The power hour. Our last episode, we talked about having a platonic relationship, or I should say platonic friendship with someone who may have a physical attraction, but it's only one sided. Mm -hmm. So today's topic is actually, can a friendship remain platonic? when physical attraction is now mutual. Mm. Can you keep it separate? Can you keep Can it separate? Can you keep it separate? Can you keep it G-rated? Can you keep, keep it, it platonic? 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 Platonic. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Y'all okay. think about it. Mm -hmm. Y'all think about it. Marinate on that skill. for a minute. Yeah, because we hungry. Always. You hungry? I tell you every time I, I well, let me share. I yeah. brought my appetite. You did? Yes, I did. Of course, I always do. You have to. Well, you know, Tracy got a, Tracy got the meat, the meals today. Okay. She All got right. to eat. Come on. So come Tracy, on, Miss Tracy. What you got for us what today, you? Tracy? Well, today we have from Chef Marie, snatch your soul food. We have um, a broiled salmon and sautéed shrimp over penne pasta. Rasta pasta. Rasta pasta. Yeah. Tossing our famous rasta pasta sauce made to enjoy all the wonderful flavors. Ooh. Okay, now, rasta Chef Marie pasta. is a first lady. and um, Explain what a first lady is for the people that don't know. A first lady is the Not wife. the president's first lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's better than that. That's right. Um, <laughs> She's the Lord's first lady. She's the Lord's Amen. first lady. Um, she is the wife of the pastor of the church. Mm -hmm. Christian Love Baptist Church in Irvington, New Jersey. And um, Chef Marie comes from a humble beginnings, born and raised in Harlem, New York, by her single mother. From the age seven, Chef Marie always loved to cook. The first meal she made was her own of her own was pancakes. From that moment, Chef Marie knew the kitchen was her favorite place to be. Chef Marie has many had many jobs along her path to success, but nothing has made her happier than Cooking than the way cooking does. Snatch your soul food is is the name of her of her company. Snatch yo soul food. That's what a Y. Snatch oh. it up. She has aprons and she does she sells seasonings. Chef Marie is also a God fearing woman. Amen. Yes, she believes God gives us all gifts and with prayer and proper guidance, all of our gifts can be manifested according to God's will. Okay. Amen. Amen. Chef Marie's favorite Bible scripture is two Corinthians five seven. For we walk. By faith, not by, not by sight. sight. Not by and sight. that's on her aprons. Okay. She has okay. aprons for men, like a denim blue one, and then she has another apron for women, really pretty, black and pink. Mm. Love it. Get you one, because I, I, I have. What's her website again? Her website is Chef Marie underscore Snatch Your Soul Foods. Her Facebook is at Chef Marie Snatch Your Soul Food. Her number, 347-906-0806. Y'all call her up and get some food because she's yes. always cooking. Pass to be eaten. I bet. I know he because he. I bet. Because let me tell you something because you got to hear his sermons on fire. Oh, Ooh. he's on fire. And you for know God. he got to be filled up he's on the ordained. Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and some good food. Yeah. All right, look, feeding his soul and his and, belly. And his yes. belly. Yes, he is. Now. Yes, he okay, is. Now I'm okay. getting a little hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all hungry? I'm hungry. Always. You hungry? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's I'm waiting. eat. Let's go on. Let's, let's, eat. let's do it. Let's do we it. We got a. We got a. We got a new. Uh, 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 we have uh, a special guest. Yes, we do have a special guest. Special guest. Oh, Vanity. Vanity Black over here, here. Miss Serena. No. Come on here with your beautiful self. You Everybody, Miss meet Miss Mr. Beautiful Mr. Serena. Serena. Thank you so much. And of course, Thank accompanied you. by our our I own see. personal little. Thank you, Cassie. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. Thank you. You're amazing. Yes. yes. You know, because it takes a village. Like it I does always take say. a village. Love oh the my support. God. The love and support she's been from the beginning. She knows deep 
doesn't it? Oh, Just looks delicious. I wish it's everybody so had much. that smell, smell of vision. Smell of vision. Yes. Yes. Do you smell that garlic? So what do we have here? We got yes, shrimp. Tracy. We have shrimp and it's pasta rasta. Mm. Rasta pasta. Rasta pasta. Rasta pasta yes. sauce. And um, there's some vegetables in here. It looks delicious. Some and we have them. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have some salmon. All right. Come on, bless wow. it. Let's, come on, bless it. Okay. No, no, she wasn't going to do oh. that. She was like, let's go eat. I oh, was oh, so. No, 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 you see how quick she did Going to bless it as I put it up to my mouth. Thank God. <laughs> we just talking about pasta. She's going to I know. You right. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. hungry. <laughs> come on, Tasha. She hungry. Bless that food. All right. Bless this food for our using us to our loving and faithful service with using all our blessings make us truly grateful. Amen. 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 All right. Dig in. I mean, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's be prepared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that cold quick. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. That's another topic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rasta oh, pasta. Ooh. No. That's got kick. Mm. That's got some kick. Mm. That's that's it does. It tastes down. delicious. Oh, my God. That rasta pasta sauce, honey. Oh, my gosh. Mm. This is delicious. Okay, so. Mm. Delicious. It's a, a tang or something. That garlic is definitely seeping it's in there. Feel it? Is there obey in this? Mm-hmm. Yes, you t- it's some. It's I have. It's a, it has a kick. Mm-hmm. You feel, you taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the sauce is delicious. It's absolutely delicious. It's almost like an Alfredo mm-hmm. with a little kick, a cheese base. Well, hold up, with a little sauce. Snatch your snatch your snatch your soul. Cause she is snatching my soul, mm. First Lady oh, my. Marie. Girl, you done did your thing, Miss First Lady. Foot up to the ankle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always say the shin. <laughs> really, mm-hmm. really good. Girl, you outdid yourself, as usual. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, First Lady. And a lot of love went into it. Well, they say cooking is love manifested. They sure do. Let me get up into these shrimps because I'm a, I love. you a shrimp lady. Shrimp lady. I am. I love shellfish. Mm. Mm. Girl, this is mm. delicious. Mmm. Mmm, so fresh. Get in there, get in there. Mm. Take a bite. So fresh and tender. Mm. You know, this is my first time tasting Master Pasta. Mm. Never had really? it before. Mm. Well, this is, I think, the best one I've ever had. Well, it, 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 this is really good, though. I want to comment. So. But I can't. Mm. And then you have, she's got some. Peppers, she's got red peppers in here. She's got yellow peppers in here. Green peppers. Yes, green peppers. The seasoning is off the charts. Mm-hmm. Absolutely off the charts. Mm-hmm. Y'all lucky we on camera. Camera, because that's delicious. Because this is, mm. Mm. They said I'd say mm too much. But Who it said tastes that? good. It tastes good. You too. <laughs> on, all over me when I'm trying to enjoy my Who is meal. They? You know what? I hope I don't do that on dates. I really hope I don't. Because that's, maybe that's how you give men the wrong impression. Yeah, that's too much. He was sitting there like, yeah, she ready. <laughs> <laughs> she ready. <laughs> wrong impression. Like, nah, it's the food, boo. <laughs> <laughs> ready for her stomach to be filled. That's, that's right. about it. And then you can take me right on home. I'm going to lay down. And go to sleep. Mm, go to sleep. Because this you right know, here will give you the out. itis. Mm-hmm. The itis for sure. The pasta is so tender. Mm. And it's covered with every little morsel of goodness. Oh, my God. That Rasta pasta, baby. I'm going to try it with my... Get some of that oh pepper my up goodness! In there. Mm-hmm. Try a little bit of red, I'm trying not pepper. to smack in the mic, okay? <laughs> Why? Don't stop. They need smacks in the mic all the time. I swear to you, I got to watch myself. My mother's going to kill me. Mm-hmm. Mama Gaddy. I made you like that. <laughs> but Mama Gaddy is so good. It's so good. Mm. Ladies. Delicious. All right, Amazing. now. All right, Miss uh, Chef Marie. First Lady Marie. Chef Marie. Thank you so Snatch much. Snap your soul food with Chef Marie, please. What's her telephone number? Her telephone number, is again, is 347 906 0806. You can find her on Facebook at Snatch Yo Soul Food. And you can um, also find her at Instagram as Chef Marie underscore Snatch Yo Soul Food. Look her up. Get Look her, her up. seasonings. Delicious. Because if you want your food to taste like this, and you should, you better get her seasoning. You should want your food to taste like this. Hey, yes. Catch, this is home cooking. Right, this is real home cooking. So, you know, you're going to get some really good 
And, and you know, with the COVID, you want it to be. You don't want to be everybody's hands in the kitchen touching your food. It's nice to have the first lady to not only cook it, but cook Bless it. coming from blessed right. hands. Bless it. Blessed hands. Mm. So you're going to get full physically and spiritually. Amen. 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 Blessed. Blessed. It was blessed before we blessed it. Mm-hmm. See, it was blessed before we blessed it. We just had to bless, bless it just to make sure we knew. Give it the extra blessing. Nothing wrong with a little bit of extra blessing. Never, never, right. never. Nothing wrong never with it. And we always got to bless the chef. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you, First Chef Marie. Lady, I'm, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead so and appreciate jump in, you. Jump into the rest of this. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we don't finish tearing this up. We don't want to be smacking them. <laughs> the whole time. Her. She just popped her tongue. Mm-hmm. She did. This is why. <laughs> we'll oh, be, Lord of mercy. We'll be right, we'll be back. right on back. <laughs> right on black? Right, right on, on back. back. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute. Well, welcome back, everybody. Oh, so full. Are you full? Yes. I'm ready for a nap, for sure. No, I'm telling you, I got I mean, my eyes for I'm sure. I'm going to get through this topic. A, but a nap's supposed to last, like, how long? 15 minutes. I'm a real nap for, should I'm be 20 to minutes. See, I but... don't nap. I, don't, I sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, well, I can't nap. Okay. I, I physically don't. I, I can't nap. The bo- your body, body do not allow it. Me too, yeah. Okay? I'm like that, too. Even yeah, though I feel the need said, for one, sleep. I still can't. Yeah. 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 It'll be Knock I do out. have to, my naps are usually like three hours because it takes me an hour to fall asleep. To fall asleep. So yeah. we'll just say, okay, well, this food actually just made us want to just fall asleep. True okay. story. You know? True story. That was absolutely Look, delicious. delicious. It was amazing. Thank you so much, Chef Thank Marie. Thank you so Thank much, you, Chef, Chef Marie. Marie. So let's get into this topic now, let's y'all. Do uh, let's do it. Let's dive into this type of topic. Yes. So here's a question for y'all. Can a friendship remain platonic? When the physical attraction is mutual? Question mark. Can it? Question mark. Question mark. All right, I'm going to let y'all take this one. I'm going to sit back and listen on this I'm going to say yes. You're going to say you can have I'm, a platonic I'm, I'm relationship? I'm going to say you can have a platonic relationship even in the, in the presence of a mutual physical attraction. I've done it. Okay, tell us how that worked for you. Well, it worked for me because this particular friend, I just knew too much about him. I mean, I still found him attractive, but okay. I just I knew too much about him in his past to be able to get beyond Is that. that. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So because you knew him too well. Because I knew him so you know, well. You knew all the ish. I knew all I knew where all the bodies were buried. Okay. Yeah. Um I knew how he I know how he is in a relationship. Okay. Or how he was in a relationship where again, we're talking decades ago. So it was enough for me to be able to draw the line. To push the attraction down in order to remain platonic. Okay, so you push the attraction down. Mm-hmm. I pushed the attraction down. We would go out, he'd pick up girls, hit on girls, it'd be all good. Okay. And you would be fine with that. Yeah. You were comfortable. You mm-hmm. didn't feel any kind of way. No. Nope. You were cool. I was cool. Because at the end of the day, you already know what those girls are getting. Because at the end of the day, I knew what those girls were walking into. <laughs> right. See, I, I, yes, I knew the door they were opening. And then, okay. And, you and knew I the chose door, to just right. keep it closed. Right. right. So if anything, I was like, girl, you been thinking about that. Right. 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 Not trying to. If you knew what I knew. Block. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go um, there. I mean, it all depended on what the women wanted. Okay. So he was right? also physically attracted to you. He was. And so what was his? How did he refrain? Um. I mean, he. Had his little, he throw his he little his digs, moments, right? Right. Okay, so he when, still would throw his digs. He would still throw his digs, but okay. he it was never anything where he would step over a line. He would never try to stop me from pursuing someone else or stop someone from pursuing me. Okay. 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 So he was but a mature man. He was he was mature about it. Right. But every, we, every we, so and often. we and we acknowledged that you there did. was mm-hmm, okay. Put mm-hmm. it on the table, and we would flirt, but it was never anything that was overtly sexual but we we would still flirt and kiki and do all all of that but just no, didn't cross it just the line. never never crossed the lines or anything physical that's interesting you don't believe it can happen i feel like you don't believe it can happen i feel like you i feel like you're dubious <laughs> 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 of the prospect of remaining platonic oh, where <laughs> you, you did oh the tongue pop Sorry, the no. snort was it the that, pasta pasta this is no a real intimate I, 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 I think it's the topic oh it's the topic <laughs> oh, i was like wait it's not worthy oh, it's not worthy <laughs> <laughs> and she did it again <laughs> in case you missed it the first time just for all of you people in the back of the room <laughs> who didn't hear it, I'm so, so you don't you don't believe that it you don't believe that a friendship where mutual attraction is present can remain platonic. No, 
Not for me personally. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know how that would work. I mean, especially have, if, have you ever if, been if in... he's single and I'm single. Mm-hmm. Then why not? I probably would have tried to test the world waters just because I'm. I'm a type of person. I got to put my hand on the stove. Okay, so you don't need. I can tell you it's hot, but you need to touch it in she order to, to feel it. Right. Okay, you need to be burned. I want to know what. What it feel like? What it feel like? Okay. Yeah. I mean, feel listen. Like. Not, 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 not like feel like, feel like, but like, right. okay. Because, well, yeah. you know, because I'm a very, I'm an, I imagine different things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And mm-hmm. if I have a physical attraction to somebody and, and they're available and, and I know that they have a physical attraction to me, it's like, why wouldn't I consider? Even if they're, if, even if their past was sketchy, not sketchy is for lack of a better no, word. No, their but, relationship past, like, you know. What the, if, what if he was, um, a player. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. W- what What if he was a serial cheater? Right. Or what if he wasn't everything you needed him to be in a relationship? Like, you know, you, you're you looking for a husband. Okay, but we didn't talk about relationship. That's that's true. Okay. That's uh-huh. true. We're just talking, just talking. Okay. Okay, testing waters. That's testing what we're talking. Waters, okay. Whatever that would well, be. Well, it depends on what your, what your goal is. Like, if you just want to, you know... Hit and quit it. Right. Like, you know, when I think of... Okay, see, this is the scene that I get in my mind. Remember the scene from Boomerang? This is one of my favorite scenes. Uh-huh. When Halle Berry was helping out Eddie Murphy, you know. And after at that the time, th- it was platonic, right? right? After the Thanksgiving... After the big Thanksgiving dinner with the bang, bang! Bang, bang! Right. Right. Okay? <laughs> and then they were, they were cleaning up and everything mm-hmm. like platonic friends. And her feet were hurting. Her feet were hurting. And he rubbed her feet. And he saw he, she had pretty toes mm. and, was, and all of that. And then oh, next thing you know what, they sat down, started to watch the game or whatever they Star were watching. Star Trek. Yes. And then they fell asleep. And then when they woke up, <laughs> they had a moment. Okay. And see, when I think of things like that, now, mind you, at that time in that movie, I don't think he was really available because he was with Hallie, um, what's her name? No, he wasn't. He was with Robin he, he, he wasn't seeing Jackie at the time, or the Robin Givens character. Okay, so he was just transitioning. He was hurt. He was, he he was, was hurt. hurt. He was, he was coming okay. back so from that vulnerable. ego being okay. tramped on because Robin stopped Robin. on him. Right. Okay. But clearly, you could tell in the movie, they both had a physical attraction, but okay. he was stuck on stupid over Robin Givens, right? right? And she was just like... I just want to get my career going. Mm-hmm. Right. But they had that moment. And mm-hmm. he was available. And although he may have done it because she, out of a rebound thing initially. Right. Later on, we do find out he fell, fell in love with her. But right. they had that moment. And right. when you have two attractive beings and together. To each other. And y'all are having, it may not be an, an intimacy as far as, you know, sexual. But you just have an intimate moment. I mean, I have intimate moments with y'all. You right. know what I mean? And when you have that, it's like. Mm. Well, when you put yourself in a position where you're napping on a couch together, bodies are rubbing, body parts are Not rubbing. Not even so rough, rough, rubbing. Just her head was, his head was in her lap and she fell no. asleep. No. They oh. fell asleep lying down. When they woke up, she was in his arms. Oh. What? Am I remembering the movie wrong? I mean, Somebody comment on that. Yeah. Let me know whether or not I'm remembering this movie know, wrong. But I don't serves, remember the movie. They fell asleep initially with their heads one beside the other. And then, and then she woke point, up and turned her head and he kissed her. And yeah. <laughs> 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 Only you. Yeah, he got them lips. And he got them lips. Right. He, he got, got them lips. lips. Yes, I think it's is. a hard position to be in. It Have you family. ever been in that position? No. No? Mm-mm. Just because you've never had a friend that you found attractive or? I don't remember having, I just remember it being one side, either my side or their side. Um, because if ever it was a mutual attraction. You feel like you would have acted on it. Yeah. You would act on it. If we were both single? Yeah. Why not? What the hell is wrong with me? I don't know. Well, no, because you knew his past. (laughs) You knew his past. I did. You knew his past. And he was a lovely person. Right. But you know. I mean, if I. For me, that turns me off. Like, if I know your past and I know, like, your. Then I wouldn't be What your character is, I'm not going to be a person. But he was a lovely person. Now, when I said, what if your guy, what if your friend was a serial cheater? He, my friend wasn't a serial cheater. Right. And he was always up front with the the women that he was. Was he non committal? He was. He was non committal. Okay. He was non committal and, and he, right, would, so he would say would it up front, my... but I knew for him. Sometimes that makes a woman want to chase you. It's just even more, about though. the sex. Right. Okay. And so for me, if I, I, would, if I had, had a mutual and attraction about, to somebody, belt, right. and it depends on where I was in my life, 
So if I was in a place where I was looking for a committed relationship and I knew your past and that's what I wouldn't put myself in that position. Like I would I would we would just be friends. But do you believe that you could, though? Do you believe that you could be mutually attracted? With some space and time. We couldn't hang out all the to time. Some, okay, so for you, no. No, I wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't put myself in that position. But also from a married perspective, mm -hmm. let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you had a friend mm -hmm. who, yeah, it was a mutual attraction. Like how Well, I'm you, married, so that... No, that don't, wouldn't matter. Yeah, would, because, would, no. Mm -mm. It wouldn't matter? No. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Why would it matter? Because you're well, married. Well, it wouldn't matter because you're married, and I would I would hope that you wouldn't put yourself in a situation to where be yeah to be caught up in, a, in an entanglement. You can't <laughs> do that. <laughs> but what if it's a work relationship? If it's a, if it feels outside of work, what if what if it's like okay, someone's gonna call it. You think so? Someone's yeah. gotta call it. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and it may not be as easy as that, but someone at some point has gotta call it. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I believe that. I agree. Because I've, I've always wondered that, too. Because, I mean, I know within, I've never been married, but I know it was, I know I've been in relationships where I have had friends, male friends that I was physically attracted to, they were physically attracted to, and when I got into that relationship, it was like, oh. When you got into a relationship outside of the friend. Right, and mm -hmm. then I kind of had to slowly, like. You had to sort of. Back yeah, it up. you had to fall back. I had to back that up. Right. Because, I mean. Because it wasn't a good place. It wasn't. It wasn't. And although, you know, we never really acted out on it when we were just friends, it just felt awkward. It felt almost deceitful, mm -hmm. you know, as far as my partner is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, and I never felt wanted like to Felt like you were slithering a, around. Yeah, yeah, like I never want to make, you know, feel like, oh, God, because I know how you really feel about me and I got this man at home. Like, oh. Right, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I think that, also, too, the dynamics of your relationship, like we right. talked about last time. Like, I feel if you're if you're going to have if you have two people that have, have that mutual attraction, then maybe hanging out every single day is not the best thing for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know once a week or once a month, or I see you when I see you. But having that, because you know, the Bible says avoid temptation, avoid the appearance of, of temptation. Right. right. And and so anything that is relate relately, oh my God, that looks so too delicious. Too tempting. Too so, tempting. You got to take like yourself you gotta, out of the yeah, yeah, out you of gotta, the equation. You, gotta you have do to. That. Yeah, absolutely. So you got to use discernment. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I think. It comes to with age. Well, too. What? What if? Yeah. What if you're such good friends that stepping over that line threatens the foundation of your friendship? You know do what, you I think just... that? Do you think that you would be able? What I'm just saying, <laughs> plain devil's advocate. She's you know, to be funny. She's trying. To I'm be funny. not. Is she going there? <laughs> yeah, she She's there. not. She went there. So say that again. That, that again. I'm saying <laughs> one more again. <laughs> For those who didn't hear it the first time. Say it one more time. I'm saying, what if you are in a friendship with someone and there's a mutual attraction? You both acknowledge there's a mutual attraction, mm -hmm. but you both also acknowledge that stepping over that line physically may rock the foundation of your friendship. Would you still be willing to to do what? Would you still be willing to test the waters? No, I no, wouldn't. I mean... You still want to touch the stove? Nope, I wouldn't. No, you about to burn the casserole? <laughs> well, to here's, to here's one the thing. Metaphor. I can say this: I have been in a situation where I was not physically attracted to the person, but I was attracted to their intimacy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, which lends into being attracted to the intellect, right? Okay. Right. Not even intellect. Okay. Yeah. But what do you intimacy. mean intimacy? Intimacy. Meaning what? Meaning. Into me, you see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr. Seuss. Yes, like, you know, just like very um, accommodating when it comes to like touch, you know, or, because like, touch is your love language. Well, actually, affirmation is, but affirmation. Okay, um, and did but, you do that too? But that too, like they they cater to your love language, language right? You know, and they know, okay. If I say, oh, my God, my back is killing me. Hold on, let me get that for you. Right. Oh, my God. That feels so good. And then that feels so good. It feels like, oh, my God. And like, then you I keep going. Like a cat. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you become like, Sophie. I start purring, right? <laughs> start rubbing up on him. <laughs> Again. <laughs> exactly. And then when I turn and look and say, oh, my God. Stop <laughs> it, <laughs> Nadia. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you get caught up in the moment. And and you then... may not be physically attracted <laughs> oh, to them. But it's just the intimacy see, that's very yeah. attractive. Okay, now and then I once understand. the lights come on, it's like, oh, my God. What did I do? Dewa. Dewa. <laughs> what did I 
go. <laughs> and you can't I, take I it back. I think you know exactly what you, you did. did. Yes, uh, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, look, there's all different types of love. But levels. that's not a mutual attraction, though. No, yes, it not. is. It is on, yeah, a, so, on a some level. Yeah. I'm attracted to the intimacy, but not a tr- physically I'm attracted, attracted to, the to the person. You, the person. Mm. you could put Santa Claus on a snowman, and, and he'd be like, oh, "But my back hurt." He'd be like, "Oh, oh no, you're <laughs> like, oh yeah, he just rubbed. Right, and that and feels real good. No man, I feel sick. Oh, Frosty. Oh, I love you, Frosty. Yeah, and then you turn cold. And then right, and then I wake up and he's melts. melting. He's melting. Exactly. He right. all right. over you. Exactly. Right. And then you like <laughs> what? <laughs> you said it first. You're so nasty. The kids is watching, child. Right. But yeah, don't so, let Frosty rub your back, children. Look, this, this, no, no. Mm-mm. So don't do that because that okay. could also lead and don't to cross the line. Because sometimes you can, then you can't come back from it. This is what I'm saying. If you guys have if your if your relationship is really really good and you cross a line, now you've tainted the relationship. And that's a line that I always say that once you cross that line, you, you, sometimes you there's just can't no come going back. back. Right. There, there's there is no going back, and unfortunately, Somebody's gonna have the friendship feelings. is at the expense. But I think that look, I've had I'm. Once you have the conversation, right, <laughs> and it's both much, expected, and y'all, the intentions are there, and y'all know what's going on, and you'll say, like, hey, if we make this decision, you know what's about to happen, then whatever happens after that, it's kind of like, you can't be you mad stuck about with it. it. You, you can't, can't be mad at right. it. You can't be mad at it. You can't but one, be, but, but you sometimes will be. Right, but I also feel that, of course, one person is going to leave extremely hurt, mm-hmm. right? you know. Right. Um, and the fr- and, and that, now your friendship is broken. That's the yep. friendship, exactly. So... It's just be very careful. Very, very careful. You don't want to be... Use discernment. Yeah, use discernment. How about you pray about it? Pray about it. Pray about it. I always want divine encounters with people, but, you know, sometimes they're not always divine. So just have, you know, have a spirit of discernment, you know, especially when people are out there online dating and things like that. Um, I'm over it. Just make sure, look, if he, he, if, if he ain't meeting your physical and your, and your mental and your spiritual, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And moving. don't test no. Don't test the waters. Don't, don't touch the stove. Right. Don't do it like I do. Do don't do, do it. as I say. Not don't as do I do. Not exactly. as I do. There you go. There you go. We're That's here trying right to, to to with our stories and situations trying to, to help. help steer you. Yeah. In the right direction. In the right direction. The right direction. We already went down that street. Don't go there. It's a dead end. Don't do it. It's don't a cold de sac. Sometimes don't turn I, around. Sometimes I wish it was as easy right. as just saying. And if there's any friends out there right now that are in, that are in contemplation of going across that line, don't do it. Play this episode again. Rewind. <laughs> Rewind. Play this episode again. All but right. y'all know. Come of on course. with it. We got a Bible first. We always got, we got a Bible. A scripture. Come on, come on, scripture. scripture. Okay, because if y'all folks don't think that this these scriptures in here don't relate to what we go through today, y'all are silly. Y'all need to crack open your Bibles. But I got a scripture today. Where and it reads from? from 1 Corinthians 10 13. And it says, No temptation mm. has overtaken you that is not common to man. See, God already said it. He knew he was going to be tempted. Yep. God is faithful. And he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. Hmm. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Hallelujah. Come on now. Come on now. I love that. Come on now. I love, I love that. that. I'm going home and read that again. You know? So, I mm-hmm. mean, as I said, these scriptures are life to me. The, the Bible is life. So gives me life. It gives me life. So if any time y'all are just crack open your Bible, do a devotion. But this scripture right here just speaks volumes to me about, you know, it's expected for us to have temptation. But overall, I mean, God knows it. It's common. Well, we're humans. And we're well, human. We're human. But he's not going to give us the temptation creatures. that we're not able to endure. Right. So that's right. We're fallible creatures. Yes. Just have a spirit of discernment. There discernment. you go. Walk in his divine lo- like okay. love. And and you know and let that let that keep you to the next episode. episode. Yes. Episode. Yes. And That's then right. until then. Until I, then, I, I, y'all. Until then. Stay, stay divine. divine. Thank you once again for tuning in to the Dining with Nadiva Show, a TNT production. Make sure to check us out on all the audio platforms like Spotify, Apple, Amazon, TuneIn, and of course we have our own Goku channel. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.